gas guard caps. Everybody loves them. Everybody loves to hate them. These caps were discontinued because the internal mechanism would bind up and you couldn't get the cap off. So what you would have to do is add a screw to engage that mechanism. Um, I had this cap right here where it actually, somebody pulled on it with pliers and it was sticking out like that. So I was able to unthread it because it was binding. I went ahead and just pulled it all the way out. And then I expanded this so it's easier to pull it out. But this is what it looks like in the bottom. You can see that it has a hexa hexagonal shape to it. The actual threaded portion here, the actual threaded portion here has a spring on it. The spring holds this piece in place. And if you were to get a magnet, it's got a magnet for my Appian piece there. You can see it's actually magnetized and it actually pulls it out. So what what happens when you apply the actual tool to it, it's a ma magnet, it actually sucks this down, engages it between this piece and the shell here, and now you can unthread the cap. So that's how these are constructed. And if you do need to take them off, you can put a screw in the back of it, or I don't do that. What I do is I put, I have a rare earth magnet that I use, which I keep it in this case here. You can buy these on eBay. This is just like a half inch by quarter inch or something or three eighths uh, rare earth magnet. This is an N52, which is the strongest one they make. And I just use these on the back of the cap here. It engages it and then you can unthread it. So, so if you apply it, you can actually hear the click. You can hear a click, the little pin clicks in place. So just a quick video guys about these gas guard caps and how you can, how they're constructed and how you can remove them from a system and upgrade the caps. So hopefully this helps.